Can you put out a lithium battery fire? That's the big question of the moment. The answer is maybe, maybe not. So first of all, let's cover what they are. Lithium, or the proper name is lithium ion battery. They are everywhere. In fact, even the camera we record this on, it's got a lithium ion battery in. Your mobile phone, if you think of electric cars, but anything that's got a long battery life has probably got a lithium ion battery in it. Um, it could even be in your little smoke alarm on the ceiling. Who knows? It's in, just assume, they're everywhere. But what is important is that if you use reputable manufacturers then and leave them as they are, they're great. However, problems occur when you um, maybe pimp up something, say you've got an electric bike and you think, wow, I can get a more powerful battery or your charger breaks and you buy another one from an online, what should call them online marketplace. We all know who they are, <coughs> eBay, <coughs> Amazon, etc. That's when you start to mix and match and things are difficult. And uh, when you use products that were not made for each other, they're not tested in use with each other, then you can get explosions and fires. And by explosions, the explosions aren't always huge because the batteries are quite often tiny and you think, what could they do? I would invite you, if you're that interested, to go on YouTube and look up lithium battery fires and explosions. There are loads of examples where CCTV has caught things and you will be shocked. These things pack energy, which is how they work. We don't make the batteries, we don't sell them separately for anything. So I don't have one to show you. But if you could take out the bottom of a Tesla car uh, and take all the metal away and actually get at the battery, uh, you will find that what they're made is effectively, you know the little, little like double A batteries? They are all like that, soldered together. You're gonna think, no. Yes, they are thousands of them soldered together. So in smaller versions, they are just smaller versions of that, just a few soldered together. So these things pack it in. Now, one thing to get straight, a lithium ion battery is nothing to do with lithium, um, or it contains a bit of lithium, but it's not the same. So a lithium fire, uh, like in a chemistry lab, if you ever did those experiments at school, or in, uh, if they use them in manufacturing, is something completely different that requires a class D powder that fights lithium fires. So this is lithium iron. Most common thing is electric cars. And just to put out, uh, these are not going to fight a car fire, right? They're going to fight small batteries. But can you not just put it out with water? No, because they continue to generate their own oxygen or, or power. Give you an example. You might think, how does that work? Why doesn't water do it? Give you an example, uh, deep sea diving. You've seen plenty of James Bond films where they're down below and they got welding torches and things and deep sea divers on oil rigs, they use cutting tools and they use welders underwater. You suddenly think, oh yeah, how does that work? But similar sort of thing, things can burn underwater. So plenty of examples of that. Now, should you be putting out the fire? Personally, I would say, no. Now you think, well, that's a bit odd from somebody who sells fire extinguishers that put them out. But if you went outside our little studio into our warehouse, it's quite a big open space. We have electric lithium ion operated forklift trucks, uh, little hand trucks, and they have batteries, yay big, and they are charged on their own, but they're charged well away from any products. Now, if one of those started to spark into life, it's quite possible that you could have a go before it spread into anything else. You could throw a blanket over it, you could have a go from a distance. So there are examples where it, you may choose to, or it may be sensible. Personally, I would say be careful because of the risk of the explosion. The toxic fumes that are coming off are likely to be yucky. So your most important step in any fire whether lithium battery or anything, is to get everybody out safely and then to phone 999 and call the fire brigade. Don't take any belongings, get people out. Come to some products. These have individual, um, individual videos as to how they work. Our most popular is the Lithem, and, uh, which is a six litre. One of the reasons it's the most popular is because it fights 
ordinary fires. It has a class A rating, so you don't need a water extinguisher or anything like that. It's safe to use on electrical equipment. Um, it will put out even small deep fat fires in a kitchen, in a small commercial kitchen. So you could have just these everywhere, a bit more expensive than ordinary extinguishers. But the reason this is more popular in our range than say the LFX or the LithX is because these are a fraction of the price and they, put it, have, they pack a punch and they're fully approved. This is the little tiny LithX. This works differently to the LithM or to the LFX, which is from Commander. This one has a, a inside that's made by AVD. It's, it's a kind of vermiculite. It's, it's like a gloopy. If you, if you spray this on a fire, it forms like a gloopy, uh, you know, type of brownish liquid thing. This is runny and it has cooling effects and so on. The most popular thing you'll see is lithium battery fire blanket. Vigil have a small one. I think, I'm not sure if we were the first to have it. Probably. This inside is two meters by three meters. That's six foot by nine foot, well, a bit bigger. But that is a small lithium blanket. That can be thrown over anything. At uh, the last time I looked, it's just over a hundred quid. This could be quite helpful um, around uh, offices, workshops, etc., for power tools, things like that. But take a look, but consider whether you should fight the fire or get out. I say, get out, be safe. If you do have to have a product, Vigil has a full range for you.